Can you explain why you think the show was such a huge hit? Well, I think it was the red car, obviously. It was that sexy the car. It was, yeah, right. Here they come. Guys are undercover, but here, oh, there's that red car. I think probably because uh, the relationship between Paul and myself was so strong, and it still is today, you know. I count him as my, my dearest friend. And uh, for me, the legacy of that show is, uh, is the friendship that developed between these two guys, Starsky and Hutch, and also Paul and David. How'd you know? Every time somebody made a move, you made the travel arrangements. It's just as simple as that. It, it comes across on the screen. I think the best relationships are the ones where few, the fewest words are necessary. The look tells it all. And I think that's one of the reasons why Starsky and Hutch was, you know, popular for such a long time. There are a lot of other elements in it, of course. I mean, it was one of the very first heavy action films, you know, in that day, but it was, and it was a, a bit of the cartoon, at, but at the same time we dealt with real issues. Um, when I look at the films now, they actually, they stand up, you know, even today. And there were not a lot of special effects or something. There was, there was real, a real human touch to the show. And I think those things work subliminally on an audience's mind. Besides that, I mean, who couldn't love us? <laughs> hey, Hutz, you know where I can, uh... Fence a TV set. Fence it? That's right. You mean sell it? Sell it. That's an idea. In the era of television that I grew up in, in the 70s, um, there were basically only three, three major networks, right? And shows like Starsky and Hutch were kind of an event in the house, and people gathered around. And, and, and they became part of the family, really. Well, that's why I say, you know, if you, if you can do one thing in your life that has touched people um, that way and has provided good entertainment for people, you should be proud of that in a good way. You know what I mean? Not in an ego kind of way, but in a, yeah, satisfaction. It's, it's a good satisfaction. Right, right. People have been entertained and, and you were part of that. Hey, Wilbur, it's your lucky day. Lakers won.